Hello, everyone. Well, with little news to move the markets yesterday, currency just largely reversed recent trends. The dollar gained against most of the G10 currencies and about half of the EM currencies that we track. Most of the movement took place during the European day or in early U.S. trading. For example, Norwegian Krone was the biggest gainer among the G10 currencies over the last 24 hours, but that was due to yesterday's CPI figure for January. While Sterling was the biggest loser among the G10 currencies, owing to Bank of England Deputy Governor Charlie Bean's comments yesterday. He said a, a stronger pound would be not particularly helpful, which is British for disastrous. Overnight, uh, Chinese stocks rebounded after money market rates fell and the yuan strengthened. The rebound in sentiment helped copper to regain some of its losses from Friday, but uh, just some of the losses, not all of them. Uh, and iron ore extended its decline, which sh shows me that the destocking associated with the liquidity crunch in China is far from over yet. With inventories of some commodities, such as iron ore and, uh, and coal, recently at record levels, I expect that troubled speculators will be desperate to unload their stocks and repay loans, which is likely to push commodity prices and the Australian dollar down further. Now, the Aussie gained somewhat along with Asian stocks during the Asian day today, but uh, it's still below its levels of 24 hours ago. The New Zealand dollar, on the other hand, rose on several better than expected economic indicators. I still expect Aussie Kiwi to move lower. The Bank of, England, of Japan kept its policy rate unchanged its meeting today. Seems they've decided to wait to see the impact of the consumption tax hike before taking any further measures. I expect them to stay put for some time while they wait to, to gauge the results. Uh, the yen weakened almost exactly in line with the Swiss franc, which suggests to me that it re really was the rebound in Chinese stocks bringing back risk-seeking sentiment rather than any evaluation of Bank of Japan policy that was moving the yen. Among emerging market currencies, it was noticeable that the ruble gained while the Polish Lottie, Hungarian Florin, and Czech Karuna eased. There could be some profit-taking among short ruble trades but in my view, the weakness in those other Eastern European currencies shows that there are continued doubts about the situation in Ukraine and suggests to me that the ruble strength is likely to be only temporary, unless it's being engineered by the central bank, which has $470 billion in reserves to make its view known to the market. Uh, the general pattern historically is for these currencies to trend together. The main event today is, is likely to be testimony by Bank of England Governor Mark Carney and several of his Bank of England colleagues at a hearing of Parliament's Treasury Committee on the Central Bank's February inflation report. Uh, this suggests that sterling is likely to be the most volatile currency today. If they make more comments like Mr. Bean did yesterday, then uh, the power would be likely to weaken. For more information, uh, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Gittler, Global Head of FX Strategy at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.